Hey guys, welcome to another video and in this video we're going to talk about making bamboo forest or bamboo itself. It can be used for terrain or for basing. So in this video it's a two-parter. One is how I made the bamboo, second is a forest basing with the bamboo. Now you get, like I said, you can use it for terrain or what have you. So here we go. We make a bamboo with cream of song and guy. To start, the cheapest and more readily available way to get this going is to get aquarium plastic plants that look like this. One of the great things about the plastic aquarium plants is that it's open to a whole new world of terrain making. It's affordable and for the most part it comes in many varieties, but that will be for another video. What I have here comes in four bunches and it's about four to five inches tall including the base. Save the base as you can use it for other things later on. This pack cost me $10 on Amazon will give you a total of 24 stalks or more if you cut them down to make them shorter branches. You can run down to your local pet or fish shop and look for them there as well. You want to get the ones with the leaves and stalks like this as the segments are just about right for our scale. If you plan on making a forest full of bamboo then there are similar plants like this at about 8 inches. Anything longer then you might get a problem of the stalks sagging too much. Let's also take a quick moment to take a look at the stalk. Can you see it? We can also use them to make corn stalks. We're going to start off by trimming this down. I first cut the stalk at the bottom at around the first segment. Remember to make the length varying. Then I trim off the leaves at the base of their stems. You can trim them all off or leave a couple of leaves intact like I'm doing here. I vary each stalk either by cutting them all off or leaving a couple on the second or third segments from the top. As well, don't throw away the leaves. I keep them for future projects, sometimes for foliage, ground scatter, or for other types of projects that might need scattered leaves somewhere. After the leaves are trimmed off, you have to clean up the stems a bit so that the segments are clean. I just use my clippers to trim them down so that it's much more smoother. You don't want to trim it down to the actual stalk itself. It'll defeat the whole purpose of making it look like natural bamboo. We also have to scale down any leaves you leave on them. All you have to do is trim and slim them down a little. This part you don't have to do, but it helps if you're using it for basing. I am simply just drilling a hole and crazy gluing in a pin so I can attach them to the base better. I'm just using a small paper clip here as the pin. Now it's time to paint these babies up. I didn't bother using primer since it's not needed on these. The paint through the airbrush will atomize the paint right onto the surface of the plastic. I begin with base coating with Minotaur Swamp Water. Just pick something that's dark green. Next step, I spray the stock with Minotaur Fresh Green. You want to use a brighter green for this step. For the segments, we're going to use a military bark to paint them. 
Any natural brown will do just fine. To give it a bit more natural look, we dry brush the stock with Minotaur Amber. Any subdued yellow will work here, don't make it too bright. And to finish it off, I just varnish the stocks with Liquitech Max Coat. And there you have it, your new awesome bamboos. Now at this point, I'm going to move on to making the bases part. If you were here to just to see how I made the bamboo, I bid you farewell. Remember, to get more awesome tips like this, join us over at our Artists and Terrain Facebook groups. If you're into Malifo, check out the Weird Place group. All these links are on the WG website. On to the base. This is a 30mm base for my archers. I've already started on them, so let me give you a quick rundown. I took the stump that I got from Secret Weapon Miniature Tree Stump Pack and glued it down with Loctite Super Glue Gel. I painted the stump with Minotaur Bark and then I gave it a flesh wash from Secret Weapon Miniature's washes. When it dried, I gave it a quick dry brush with Minotaur Bark again. Then I glued two pieces of bark to the base. This is a bark that I got from my own stash and I leave them bare. No need to paint them here. The metal piece you see here is something I glued on ahead of time to cover up the slot. I find it just, just faster than using putty as I would have to wait for the putty to dry. As you can see, I've also drilled holes into the base where the bamboo stalks will go. I trim the pins down to almost a nub and then I use a Loctite super glue gel to glue down the stalks. Make sure you place the stalks as you would like them before the glue dries. Place them randomly to make them more natural looking. Now using watered down tacky glue, I just fill the floor of the base and then base it with a natural looking sand. Instead of tacky glue, you can simply use regular PVA white glue. From here on out, you will also see me working on the other two bases in this set. When the sand is almost dry, I put down some of the same mix sporadically on the sand and sprinkle some fine flock on the floor to simulate grass. Using a deep green color works great for a forest environment. Then I randomly did the same thing to the bark in various places. I would glue them into the cracks or niches of the bark to simulate sporadic weed growth. What you don't see here is that I used bits of clump foliage and glued them to the bark to simulate moss growth. Just put them randomly anywhere you wish. Finally, time to pop in the models onto the base. The base here I specifically made for this archer. I want him to be sniping through the bamboo stalks perched off the tree stump. Gotta make him look like Super Chinaman Bowman. That's it guys, again if you want to learn more cools and tips and learn more new stuff visit us at the Artists or Terrain Facebook group. The link of course is at the bottom of the description below. Thanks for watching and remember sub if you haven't and like this video if it helped. Love you all and see you all later.